everyone, it's Michelle from Country Morning Creations. Um, if my voice sounds funny, I have a cold, so I'm gonna try to muddle through this the best I can. Um, about a week ago, or in the past week, I went on both YouTube and Instagram and asked people to give me ideas for things that I could use in a challenge um, where I would give prompts. Now, I've seen lots of variations of these where maybe it's a daily challenge and everybody does one word a day and there's only one thing. Some are themes, some are weekly, some are monthly. Um, I, to be honest, very selfishly, I created this for myself. I could do one prompt a week. I could do one collage a week. I knew that I could not possibly do more than one a week. And so that was my goal was to create something that was fairly simple as well as being very flexible depending on how you create art. So about half of these are contributed by people who uh, made suggestions and then half of these I literally just brainstormed. One of my friends said, did you like walk around your house and look for prompts? I said, no, I was sitting in my craft room looking for prompts. So there are a variety of different things in here and you'll see that it prints out in four pages unless you print it two to a page, which would make them this size. And this is the size that I did them. I did them two to a page. And what I appreciate is I actually can still read them even in this smaller size. So you could print these out on cardstock and use them maybe as a card and you just pull a card one by one. Maybe you print them onto Rolodex cards. You could then do your collaging on a Rolodex card. Uh, you could save it as a PDF and simply refer to it. Uh, I'll show you what I did with this the first week one um, here in a minute. But these are the directions. It's create an art piece using one to five of the prompts provided per week. So I acknowledge that not everybody has the brain power to, to use all five parts of each prompt every week. So as long as you're using one, you're still following the challenge. It doesn't matter. You can use whatever medium you choose. So maybe you use paper, maybe you paint all of the things. Um, I know somebody who does beautiful drawings. Maybe you're going to draw them. You can use digital kits, digital art, canvas, um, fabric. You could cut fabric out in the shapes of different things. Any kind of art form works. Um, you could do mixed media. You could do this in metal. You could engrave it. I mean, please feel free to do this whatever works for you. Um, you can print them and use them on your collage or at least list them in the comments section of your posts. But really, there are no rules. The goal is to have fun and a creative time with these prompts. Now, terms of use. The biggest thing is by using this digital kit, you're agreeing not to sell or claim any of these as your own. So please do not grab all these prompts that I have worked very hard to do. As a matter of fact, I'll show you how I did it. I uh, created a list and I literally put them in a bucket and I pulled them out one at a time. One, two, pulled out five and then entered them into this uh, after I created this on Canva. So, <clears throat> so I did not want uh, anyone out there to sell this. It is free. Anyone with the link can go to my Google Drive. You can grab it, you can download it, you can print it from there. You agree not to distribute the digital kit itself, but I ask that you refer others back to the original link if somebody's interested in doing it. Now, this may or may not follow under terms of use, but so that we're all on the same page, literally, I'm using the hashtag CMC2023 challenge. That way people can see. Now you feel free to use all the other hashtags you want, but that is the one that will link us all together. And last but not least, have fun. If at any point this ch challenge is no longer fun, feel free to take a break or come back later. So I know I'm getting this out at the end of week one of 2023. Um, so again, you can go back and do one and two this week, or you can go later into 2024. Oh, that's a weird thing to say, isn't it? 
um, or anything like that. So one of the things I've done is I've gone ahead, I'll show you my example, and I kept it really simple. Trust me, with a cold, I have a cold brain going on and it's gonna be impossible. What I chose was, this is an Archer and Olive notebook and it is a spiral bound. It was in, I wanna say the September subscription box, something like that. Anyway, um, it was in a subscription box, so I don't know that you can actually buy this, but I think they do have other spiral bound. And the point behind this was that with a spiral bound, as I use different things, some of the prompts are fabrics and ribbons and things like that that are three-dimensional, it gives it room to expand. And that was what I really wanted was something that had room to expand. And so this was my first day and my first prompt. So I'll pull this up. You can see it's woven plaid numbers, eucalyptus and teacup. When I first saw this prompt, I will tell you, I panicked. I thought, there is no way I can come up with this. And first of all, I have nothing that has eucalyptus on it. And then I remembered um, I had a Cora Creates Crafts, Cora Create Crafts. Anyway, I had a box that had rub-ons that had eucalyptus in them. And I don't know that these are exactly eucalyptus, but they when I looked up the pictures online, it was close enough. So I thought, okay, I'm going to go with that. And I thought about using plaid fabric in here. But to start with, I had a buffalo plaid and a teacup that were both from uh, this month's journal stickers set that I have. Um, that's in my Etsy shop. And then this is actually some woven, it's a printable of some woven linen. And that's actually in my, I don't remember which one it is. It's one of my uh, Regency Rose printable kits. So what I did, I tried to just keep this really simple. I put the woven here, the plaid here, the numbers was a date stamp, and I'm realizing in my blindness, I couldn't see that that was a six and not an eight. I know that today is the eighth. Um, eucalyptus rub-ons and a teacup. So I managed to get all that, and then I added some polka dots just for interest. And, you know, maybe if I did this again, the white kind of gets lost against this white background. So I may have put that teacup somewhere differently um, and not down the middle, or I may have put something behind it. But this is how simple it can be. It can just be a bunch of stickers if you want, or stamping or whatever. Uh, whatever works best for you, I could totally see doing this digitally uh, that would be very easy to do by just grabbing digital pictures and creating a collage that way. Uh, there's a variety of different ways, and this is how I chose to use it for the for the first prompt. So, I uh, hope you guys will remember to use the, and they're at the bottom of every one of these, the CMC 2023 challenge as your hashtag. And uh, I hope I've inspired you to be creative today.